Hey guys, it's Little Moon TNT, and welcome back to Hush Hush. And where we last left off, um, Cassie talked about her past, and it was pretty sad. But right now, we're gonna go meet Cassie in a location that uh, might be pretty dangerous. We might be joining her a uh, little gang. Uh, and I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm going to join it. I don't know if I can save her from this. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I did the right choice. But let's go ahead and find out. After enough time has passed, you get back into your car and drive to the address Cassie Sandy gave you. There in the drive, the rain comes to go and goes. And at one moment, gentle, almost non-extent, the next in a wild sin. Crescendo. Crescendo. As though the storm is selectively angry at the world, lashing out, mad as hell, and then going quiet. You cross several train tracks to reach your destination. The back of your mind makes the wrong side of the tracks. Joke you don't find particularly funny. Oh. Finally, the place you're headed to come to comes into view. It's a large, forbidding war warehouse, obviously abandoned. Even as you step out of your car, you can hear sounds coming from inside. Music, yelling. You walk up and cautiously look inside. What's cooking good looking? Oh, hey, Alice. Alice's voice startles you, and you flail a little more than you're comfortable with in reply. So, I wasn't really expecting this to happen. Cassie's been saying you're neat meat, that you want to join the family business and make a name for yourself, or something. Mm-hmm. True. True enough, I guess. I see. Well, tell me, did Cassie tell you that she considers this the worst decision of her life? Yes. Did she happen to mention that were it not for an unfortunate and untimely closure of the strip club I used to work at, I would also have avoided this line of work like the plague. And did she mention that there are no health or dental benefits? <laughs> uh, yeah. If none of that scares you away, then follow me. Did I really make the right decision? I'm making this guy ruin his whole life. Whatever it takes to save her. Alice brings you into the warehouse where you see a group of delinquents hanging out. Most of them are smoking, hanging out on an old couch. At a nearby table, you see Liliana talking to someone with several rolls of money in front of her. Cassie is with Liliana, standing behind her in her jack jacket and cap. She's a bit of a trophy around here. Cassie, I mean. Damn. All the kids have a thing for her. But they're more afraid of Liliana. Mm. They learn pretty quick not to mix business and pleasure. Though they don't know it, but Cassie can take care of herself. What are they going to make me do, yes? It's a bit different for everyone. Mm. I mean, they probably won't make you do what I did. <laughs> Which was what? Which was mostly a bunch of math involving drug cutting. <laughs> Bruh. Well, I can do math, so maybe? I don't think Liliana is going to ask you to have sex with her or anything, but just brace yourself. Okay. You're seen as a bit of a threat. Me as a threat? What did I do? Wait, was her eyes pink? At the mo- like, like the white of her eyes, not her pupils. At the moment, Liliana finishes up with a person she's talking to, and Cassie taps her on the shoulder. Cassie points you out, and Liliana nods. The two of them walk over together, Cassie making a, no awkward expression, Liliana looking very much like a lion about to strike. So, you're the stranger. Yeah. I've seen you around. Mm-hmm. Cassie tells me you want to get paid. Mm hmm She says you know how to keep your mouth shut. Mm-hmm. And you can fight. Mm-hmm. Is all that right? Yeah. Hmm. I don't believe you. 
Okay. I know a bitch when I see you. Excuse me? Let's find out if I'm wrong. We gotta make sure you're not a cop. Test is a little different for everyone. Pretty okay. straightforward. Dan, come here. One of the delinquents walks over. You reckon recognize them from your first date at the mall with Cassie. Uh, hey, I know this bitch. What's up? What's up? Okay, I'm not, I can't. I can't say that word. What's up, fucker? Shut up. Dan is also new. He just joined last week. He also turned 17 last week. Oh, well, happy birthday, my dude. I want you two to fight. Whoever wins moves on to the next round. Mm. What? But I already. You know what? Fuck it. You want me to beat the shit out of this punk? That's a big fuck yeah from me. He's just a kid, though. Yeah, that's why it's illegal. Make it happen. Dang, circles here. He <laughs> cranks his neck to the side, cranking it to loose, loose it up. Then left. I owe you this from a few weeks ago. You're gonna bleed, bitch. Grab Dan. As Dan comes at you with a punch, you duck low and tackle him. At first he lands, bring bring his fist down on your back, widening his stance to avoid falling, and you ex execute a perfect suplex. You slam Dan onto the ground, archering your back to the fullest before he can recover you Man maneuver him into maneuver him into a rare naked choke. He tries to pull your arm away, but he's no match for your strength. He taps your arm for a sec, then quickly loses consciousness. Conscious, conscience. You realize before doing any per permanent damage. Nice moves. Thank Step you. two is easy. Liliana snaps her finger, and one of the other delinquents carefully hands her a. Uh, uh, Syringe. Do you know what this is? <laughs> oh, hey, that's my mom's medicine. Weird. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. It's mud up from Mexico. Exactly. <laughs> Where I'm from? No, I'm not from Mexico. I'm almost from Mexico, but I'm, I'm, I was born here. Take it. Oh, oh. Stick him. Okay, okay, how about you two legs? She points down at Dan. Got it. Can we stick it in him? Haha! <laughs> I can't give this to a kid. Monster. <laughs> Don't waste your Inject. Inject self. All around you, members of the gang react with a shock and surprise. Cassie gasps, and even Liliana looks shocked for a moment. Hmm. Respect, stranger. Nice. But that's going to make this next part a lot harder. What do you mean? Okay, last step. Fight me. Fight Do you? it, and you're in. Look, right. this isn't necessary! That H is gonna mess with them too much! You never know. Might help. Ready? Fight as best you can. You wait for Liana to swing, and you manage to dodge her attack. You see frustration flare across her expression. She swings again, but you're already swinging your uppercut. You catch her on the chin. You actually manage to hit, lift her off the ground with the force of your blow. A weaker chin, and she would have fallen unconscious. But Liliana laughs. Hey, that's a good hit. You're pretty good. Arigato. She hits you, but it barely matters. The drug have already done their work. You fall and everything goes dark. You wake suddenly in the co in a cold sweat. You quickly hear Cassie's voice. It's okay. I'm here. You look around. You're in your room. It's dark. Cassie is undressed. She will sleep next to you. Eh? You ask what happened and Cassie hesitates for a moment. You're written. Liliana was impressed. Now, rest. Cassie gently presses you into the bed. You feel her naked body curl up next to yours. Her, de her delicate breasts pressing on your side 
and the feeling brings you pleasure and comfort. You fall asleep again. You can hear the storm pouring your rain outside, and the sound fears you fears you back to sleep almost instantly. That was still the date. Cause he's going gone in the morning when you wake up. Oh fuck, I'm part of the game now. Uh, oh yeah, live stream. Logging into your computer, you immediately get into get a notification that Milo's live stream will be starting in a few minutes. Taking care of to turn on your VPN and sign in with a dummy email account. You set your username to Rapid the Procumbin Procum Procupine. <laughs> Enjoy the stream. <laughs> a girl in the mask comes on screen. You recognize it's Mio right away. She's speedrunning Mega Woman 4. The strat here is to wall clip through the stage just enough to hit the end zone trigger without falling out of bounds. Okay. So it might look like I'm just humping the wall for a few seconds, but I swear that's just the glitch. Members only streaming hasn't started yet, I promise. Lol. <laughs> I know, I know. I use that joke every stream. I only have like four jokes, so go easy on me, chat. <laughs> okay, here we go. You indeed can watch. Mega Woman hump the wall eight or nine times. Mew pursues her limbs in concentration. Ugh, I'll get it, but I don't think I'm on pace for PB. Mega Woman humps several more times, and she suddenly clips into the wall. The screen flashes, mission complete. Yay! Good job, Mega Woman! Keep doing that, and you'll pay off your college loans in no time. Speaking of college loans, it's actually time for me to sign off and start the members only stream. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Send me all your internet hate. But your tears don't buy me energy drinks, so I gotta put up the paywall. I get it, I'm evil. Rawr. <laughs> but in all seriousness, thank you so much for subbing and watching my stream. I couldn't do it without you. I'm so happy you spent time with me today. Okay, Gamer Galaxy out! Bye! What's your name? The stream cuts out and a different screen pops up that says Become a member to access member only area. Warning, you must be 18 years to access this content. Lucky for you, I am 19, so let's go. You enter your credit card information and hit accept. When the stream finally loads, Mio is there speaking to the chat. Yeah, I'm so excited for Foible 3, but really, I love any game that lets you marry 12 waifus and customize their hair. True. I'm just saying, if a game has waifus and hair customization, I'm there. I don't care if it's matching 3 or fighting skeletons. <laughs> True. Yo, thanks Rapid the Porcupine for the tier 1 sub. Welcome to the stream. The Legends were true. Beautiful girls can't play video games. Right? <laughs> You'd better go grab your fedora just in case you want to tip it to me later. <laughs> but seriously, I appreciate the sub. It makes things so much easier for me. I can't even tell you how grateful I am. Mio pauses a moment, her gaze off screen, as she clicks to a program on her computer. Then she turns back and gives the camera a wink. All right, time to get into uniform. Hey, yo. Oh, oh, the song. The soundtrack suddenly changes, switching to the to a song much more burlesque and saucy. Mio stands up, turns away, and seductively removes her top. Lock the door just in case. With her shirt off, you can see she's wearing thong panties. She gracefully puts her mask back on before turning towards the camera again. There's a sudden pick tick of donations in the chat. A dozen small tips pop up on the screen along with a $50 tip from GG is everything. <laughs> okay, okay, oh. slow down everyone. I was just getting my game face on. I love All right, welcome everyone to Seductive Speedrunning, my members only channel. For nice. those of you new here, this is basically just where I hang out with you guys play games, and be naked. Because those are all my favorite things. 
Usually I have a bunch of achievements I'm working on, but today is a little different. Today we're doing the pay to win auction. Nice. Once a month, I auction off a personal one-on-one -on -one session as part of a sexy speed run. Whomever wins gets to pick what we get up to. I'll game, I'll chat, I'll take requests. <laughs> The money for the auction goes half to my bills, but I always donate the other half to local wildlife charities. Because someone needs to get naked for animals. <laughs> we'll be starting the auction in a few minutes. I just need to take a super short break and I'll be right back. Play nice, I'll be RV. I had a, I had a bass presence on my back right now. It's like someone was touching my back. Okay, Mio gets, gets up and leaves. Meanwhile, the chat is flashing by fairly quickly and you read what the other auctioneers are saying. While most of the comments are pretty cringy and thirsty, <laughs> you notice there's a the usual mix of sarcasm and support you come to expect from the internet. Reviewing GG is everything's message though, you notice some of the some of them send out Ah, GG is everything's the stalker. Galax Galaxy, why didn't you stream last week? Like you say you would. You never explained yourself. I want to know what you were doing. A galaxy, did you get my DM? I need you to answer me right away. GG, you need to kick most of the losers from the chat. This chat, everyone who hasn't donated at least one thousand or filth. GG, don't ignore me. I need you to answer my question. Jeez, everything. You need to tone it down. You're borderline portal, portal brood right now. Yeah, after a few moments, GG is everything piping back. You better watch what you say to me. I'll cut you to peas, you little... You wretch. Oh, oh, you want to bet, little boy? Well, I don't think you're a little boy. Wait, hold on. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> you... You wanna go, you little shit? You wanna go? You wanna go, boy? I still said boy anyways. What the f The rest of the chat swoops in with woes and messages telling him to call cool down. Some of the chat even gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> someone someone private messages messages you, warning you to just leave him alone and that he's crazy. <laughs> Mew comes back on camera shortly yeah. after. Coming a certain Russian puzzle game theme. She quickly reads the chat and you see you can see a look of concern briefly across her face. Mm, okay, we're ready to start. <laughs> Does everyone remember the rules? This yes. is the pay to win speedrun auction, which means it's evil and shady and terrible, but it's for a good cause. Sure. Your donations will be hooked up to my special gaming peripheral, and your job is to distract me. Okay. I'll be playing endless running mechanical Pegasus. If I beat my PB, then you all lose and I get to laugh at you. <laughs> but if I lose, then you guys get bragging rights and you get to make fun of me for letting saucy thoughts overcome my competitive gaming spirit. And whoever has donated the most by the end wins the special prize, which is the one-on-one -on -one session. Alright, get your bets set. I'll load up the game, flip the on switch, and the competition is go! I recommend you guys not really wasting all your money in, you know, like, something like this. If you want to, go ahead, it's your money, you can do whatever you want with it. But I recommend you not waste your money on these type of things. You can really save your money to buy something, you know, like, useful. Like Sims packs! <laughs> Sims 4 packs! <laughs> Or buying yourself like a new monitor or buying yourself clothes or stuff like that. But you can, I know you probably don't realize, but once you do one of the, these and then you donate, you don't notice, but you'll eventually start donating more and more and then you'll eventually lose a lot of money. So, you, so make sure if you're going to, if you do want to donate, make sure you pay attention to how much you donate. So you don't accidentally donate your whole, you know, salary. <laughs> Please be careful. Alright, Mew starts to click around her screen. You see her reach down and like like GG is everything. Which is a capri which is a complete weirdo. Or stalker. And incons inconsubiciously turns something on. 
The chat fills with cat calls and fans telling her she's going to lose. For the most part, everyone is joking around and trying their best to flirt with me. <laughs> and I'm talking about like like this. I'm talking about like on Twitch and stuff like that too. I'm not telling you to stop donating. I'm just telling you to be careful how much you donate. But it's not really up to me, it's up to you. So please be careful how much you donate. Title screen for endless running mechanical Pegasus appears. Neil selects a new game. Her mouse hovers above a button that says "Begin the match." Begin the match. All right, ready, set, go. Yes. <gasps> Just as Mew hits the start button, there's a flood of donations, mostly around five to ten dollars. Mew gasps and laughs. Ah! Okay, we're going. Focus, Mio. Donate 500. <laughs> as soon as you click confirm on your large donation, a large pop up appears saying you've done an Omega attack. Uh. Mio's laugh quickly trans transitions into a soft. Grant. Grant? And she takes her eyes off the screen for just a moment. <laughs> wow, someone is starting off things a bit aggressive. Jeez, Rapid the Porcupine, let a girl warm up first. <laughs> no, no warming up. Thanks for, uh, well, everything. Phew. Okay, the next kingdom is coming up, and maybe so am I. <laughs> oh. This is the first stage with the Medusa heads, so you've got a better shot of winning if you distract me here. Good luck! As, I feel like I'm gonna get attacked by GG as ever seen. As Mio's be Pegasus leaps into the dungeon, a large donation suddenly pops up on the screen. It says, GG is everything has donated 1000 Omega attack. <gasps> Mio gasps and holds her breath for a few seconds. Oh, oh wow. Mm, that must have been a donation from GG is everything. Yeah. Mio quickly checks the screen. She seems a little breathless, and her cheeks are now super flesh. <laughs> yeah, I was right. Thanks, GG. You always have a way of making an entrance. A flood of smaller donation kicks in, and Mio sticks out her. Before turning back to the game, holy shit! Five thousand. <laughs> Donate five thousand and five hundred burst. <laughs> My God, that took a with a little script <laughs> doctoring. You set up ten. Times 500 donations to fire up in rapid su succession. As soon as you activate the script, the auction pop up explodes on your screen and Mio reacts immediately. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Mio barely keeps her Pegasus on, on course, her breasts becoming erotic. Holy crap! Who did that? <laughs> Mew takes the chat, laughing when she sees a, the shocked and hype reaction from the rest of the chat. Jeez, Rapid! That was one hell of a flex! Yes. Oh my! <laughs> I'm a little lightheaded! I actually can't believe I managed to keep going! It's definitely not your lucky day, Rapid! Normally that would have definitely worked, but I'm on fire today! Okay, because I gotta break her. Oh. Will. Her fiery will on playing this game much more harder, but I don't have I don't know if I can do like 10,000 As the next scene downloads you catch me twirling her hair absently smiling at herself You suddenly receive a message direct message from GG is everything go fuck off Hey asshole, just what the hell are you trying to pull? If you think you're going to steal the one-on-one -on -one from me, you're wrong. You better reconsider trying Bitch, I got cash for days. Here, have some. <laughs> wait, wait, what? 
I really wish I could do this. But if I do this, is this, is this gonna be giving him money? Or her, or me a money? Uh, oh yeah? Where else what? I'm warning you. Don't screw with me. You're going to eat a bullet if you get in my way. Excuse me, little shit? Try me. I'm part of a gang. Do you really want to fuck with me? <laughs> As Mio starts to the next kingdom, GG is everything makes another Omega attack donation. When the pop-up appears, it says GG is donating 8,000. 8, Mio almost drops her controller, gasping the, the energy bar next to her portrayed max out. <gasps> Mio throws her head and you only a split second to act. Oh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> you know, I honestly think I will die if I show off that. I can't do the pat. I can't do the peaceful one either. Oh, I'm at the. I'm gonna have to do it. I can't. Damn. Alright, there we go. That's much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try to enjoy yourself. No, you can't. Because I can't enjoy myself either, too. <laughs> I'm thinking. I, I, yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'm going to have to go for the top one. <laughs> Show Mew the threatening message from GG is everything. You quickly send Mew screenshots of what GG is everything said to you. She doesn't spot them before the large donation calls her to find them. Yes! Oh baby! Yes! Mew's Pegasus goes crashing into the bridge. Troll. You die, its screen appears and she did not die. After a few moments shuddering, the breathing heavily in her chair, she looks over to the camera. And you jerks! I was doing really well! <laughs> Well, it looks like GG is everything won the auction again <laughs> with a crazy donation of. Huh. Screen. It's something screen. GG is everything started spamming the chat. Galaxy kicked the chat. Starts 1 1 right, right away. Hurry. GG, do you mind explaining what this is? Mil quickly drags the screenshot you. Send her on Gigi, screen. I've talked to you so many times about this crap. You can't treat everyone like this. We're all here to have a good time. We don't need this kind of crap making everything toxic. I'm sorry, but I gotta permaban you. I'll refund you your money. Please don't come back. Before Gigi's everything can respond, Mio has refunded their money and kicked them from the server. I'm sorry about that, everyone. I've given Gigi way too much slack with this stuff. And I'm sorry, but I don't care how much money he drops. He can't treat you guys like that. Despite the chat sending her immediate support, you see a look of some frustration, frustrated sadness across her expression for a few moments. After clicking through the donation, Mio pauses for a moment to type again. Then All right, everyone. As you can see from the results, it looks like Rapid the Porcupine won the auction. Yay. Congratulations, Rapid. You're, uh, really good at donating. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, half of tonight's donations will go to charities for animals. The rest will help me afford ramen and new cosplay. How much? No, hell no. Thanks again to everyone who joined me tonight. Rapid, please stay logged in. I'll set us up a private room. Good night, everyone. Gamer Galaxy signing off. I feel like I'm gonna die. I don't have, I have a really bad feeling. The chat fills with messages and smirks and tears, and soon it goes quiet. So rapid. It's just the two of us now. Did you, uh, enjoy the show? <laughs> Sorry. That always sounds really weird, saying stuff like that after such an active session. Hmm. I kind of want to ask that. What's up with GG is everything guy? Seems pretty unhinged. Oh, well, you know the internet. You get the good with the bad. The good being kind-hearted people who share your sense of humor. The bad being psychopaths that make you want to run and hide. Mm -hmm. But just forget about that guy. He's my problem. And you, well, you're sort of the opposite. Well, Rapid, the night is young and the time is yours. Since this is your first one-on-one, -on -one, you're probably not totally sure what's up, but... I'm 
I'm all yours. What would you like to do? What would you like me to do? Can I do something special for you? Because I've got some really sexy cosplay over here and I'm super posable in everything. Your pick. Do you mind walking me through how to build a good PC? What? I screwed. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Like, really, really? <laughs> that is hilarious. I've never been asked to provide sexy tech support. This is exciting new territory. Please, I'm too scared to ask the internet. But you have to be nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It would be bad form to make fun of my most valuable patrons. Hold on, I'll grab some common tools and components I've got laying around. I'm going all out here. Oh, and uh, let me know if my boobs are too distracting or whatever. Okay. You and Mio wind up spending hours talking about PC components. A topic she seems particularly passionate about. And then yeah, you're basically done. Alright, cool. I mean, you could still pick a bunch of aesthetic upgrades, but I usually start with those. I suppose we kind of skip them. Bruh, I have a true. Oh wow, look at the time. I should hit the hay. But thank you so much. This was the weirdest but coolest one-on-one -on -one session I've ever had. It'll be hard to beat. Mm. Will I see you at the next auction? I promise you don't need to pay me if you just want to hang out and play games. I'll give you a coupon for those. My pleasure, ga Gamer Galaxy. Mine too. Good night. Good night. Mew turns off the stream and you stand up for your computer chair for the first time in several hours. You wake to your alarm. That's a local... Local news. It tells residents of Suburza to hunker down. Then an ad for the mall comes in. Declaring 50% off umbrellas. Oh shit, it's been going for too, too long! I I feel really unsafe right now. Like, I feel like I'm gonna die. Hmm. Probably not the correct path for me. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys for clicking. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to join the TNT Army, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye!